Berlin. Shanghai. Montreal. We're bleeding operatives. Panic is spreading, and now we are axing our own? Knox was a traitor. He would have caused incalculable damage. And he won't be the last. This is exactly what the enemy wants. We need to fight the sickness, not the symptom. And I have just the tool for the job. Right. The Burnwood woman. Eric Soders warned you about her, didn't he? The Crusader. I can handle Miss Burnwood. Everyone hates power until you offer them some. And you ought to know. ICA speaks the enemy's language. We need them. And once we don't... <laughs> we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Fact remains, we are shadowboxing. We need to know who we are up against. I was getting to that. His name is Lucas Gray, the late Mr. Cobb's head of security. Cobb was ground zero, first of our operatives to die. It had to be one of his staff, someone with military training and access to the plane. Ah, grasping at straws. Gray is a mercenary. A veteran of every backwater tragedy you've ever ignored on the five o'clock news. Chechnya, Sierra Leone, the list goes on, but before 89, nothing. No records of any kind. Now, come on. CIA, KGB, plenty of spies went dark. After the curtain was lifted, I cast a very wide net. Lucas Gray simply does not exist. <clears throat> if you're all quite done wetting yourselves with excitement, I couldn't give two shits where he came from. I only want to know one thing. How does he know about us? I swear to God. This hearts and flowers crap will get us both killed. Can't you see? Your so-called friend is working for them now. He's not the man you knew. This is his fight too, Olivia. Even if he doesn't realize it. Like it or not, 47 is our last and only lead on the partners. He needs to remember. He's coming for us. And unlike you, he won't hesitate. Just get me inside. Rico, I need a favor. Providence Contact has shared the identity of the Shadow Client, a former mercenary and bodyguard by the name of Lucas Gray. His past is a black void, but our analysts are digging deep. Meanwhile, we've had a breakthrough of our own. Comparing the malicious attack patterns with global shipping and transportation routes, we've figured out how Mr. Gray and his paramilitaries move around the world undetected. They're using the distribution network of the Delgado Cartel, Colombia's biggest drug manufacturer. Clearly, Gray must have struck a deal with the Delgados. Consequently, if we can cripple the cartel, we can severely limit the malicious strike range. But to do so, we need to slay a three-headed serpent. Sociopathic cartel head Rico Delgado and his two closest lieutenants, PR guru Andrea Martinez and savant chemist Jorge Franco. With equal parts guts and guile, Rico Delgado runs a thriving billion-dollar criminal empire. The word is, the brutal and volatile cartel head is hell-bent on becoming the number one drug lord in the world. To achieve this, Martinez, a childhood friend of Delgado's, has been buttering up state leaders and decision-makers, paving the way for an expansion of the Delgado logistics network. 
while the brilliant but aloof and antisocial Franco has been hard at work developing a new type of super cocaine. So, three of Colombia's most infamous crime lords inhabiting a decidedly hostile environment. I will leave you to prepare. Welcome to Colombia, 47. The remote village of Santa Fortuna awaits you deep inside the Colombian rainforest. An iron-fisted Delgado cartel rules over the village and its surroundings. Security around Santa Fortuna and the closed-off cartel compound is extremely tight. Armed Sicarios patrol the streets of the village, ready to enforce harsh punishments to those who do not comply. Rumors persist of hidden transportation cave systems connecting the village, the cartel compound, and the hidden coca fields beyond. It is a rare occurrence to have all three cartel leaders present in the village at the same time. Expect that all targets are protected by scrupulous killers armed with automatic weapons. Rico Delgado inhabits his fortified mansion on the outskirts of the village, while Andrea Martinez can be found in her village office, or around Santa Fortuna itself. And Jorge Franco is engaged in development of a new drug in his field laboratory. Happy hunting, 47. See the poster? Rico Delgado coming down to us dirty villagers to unveil some ridiculous statue. Sure, I went to the bottom and the fans were really good. So. Oh my god. What? Have you heard that What? Shit, did I oversleep? Is the Martinez lady on belly statue yet? It's always nice to talk about other people, but the Martinez lady. Maybe you want to tell me what happened in your life? What do you say? Do I know him? No, he only had.
all for. Would I ask you to leave and close the door behind me? Gracias. You heard the news about the Renaissance. How they had 15 guys in lockup in Spada, and yet all of them worked two hours after Brin broke in. And that's only half the story. Martinez. Someone's been hurt! Oh, looks like someone... Come on! Oh. Okay, if it's not, then why do people keep disappearing out there? Not even just the tourists. My brother's wife's friend. He went into the cage looking for one, I guess. And no one ever heard from him after that. So, P Power, celebrity tattooist of tattoo torment fame, has come to Santa Fortuna, presumably to work his magic on Rico Delgado, a known ink enthusiast. Sounds like an invitation to the mansion, 47. Are you feeling expressive? Could be. Lucky guy. Wish I could afford one of his pieces. Ah, his work isn't that impressive. All he really seems to be doing is touch up. Not a man anymore. You go and play with your leaves. What? Hola, senor.
That is P Power. Real name, Paul Powers. Celebrity tattoo artist and reality TV star. You have to get me the hell out of here. I'm stuck in some tequila bar in the middle of nowhere. I can't get out. Dexy, send help.
that Papawa guy? Hang on, man. I hope you don't mind, but we need to frisk you. I have to give you a bad down if you want to come through here, Pancero. You're entering the lion's den, 47. Tread carefully. Practically everyone here is dangerous, not least Rico Delgado himself. Everybody knows that shit. Okay, right, you're Mr. good Power. to go. Pongale, pongale. Follow me to the house. This is Delgado wanted to meet you. She's a big fan. She'll take you to Rico afterwards. My sister got a tattoo one. It was supposed to be a tribute to her son, but the guy fucked it up. The big Gustavo ended up looking like a dead chupacabra. When my brother-in-law saw the tattoo, he went down to the guy's house. Shot him dead. Which was kind of dumb because he was the only that was this around for half a fight. That's quite a story. You bet. That is Catalina Delgado, wife to Rico Delgado for the past 11 years. Such an honor to meet you. I just love your show. That episode where you tattoo the heart of the heart of a dead dying policeman while they're administrating CPR. <laughs> it's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. A great moment. I cherish the memory to this day. Ah, oh, see. So, Rico has this tattoo on his neck and he insists it's supposed to be based on a photo of me. I'm not a fool. Mr. Powers. My nose never looked like that, not even before the operation. And sure, I've had a few ticks done here and there, but nothing as drastic as that. I want, I want you to make it look like me, not some young skank. I'll do my very best, Mrs. Delgado. Ah, oh, Chico, let me just grab a quick selfie with you, all right? Sure, why not? Just look this way. Oh, okay, see, wow, we look so good together. This is great. So far, so good, 47. Now to leave your mark on Mr. Delgado. So, this is the famous P. Power, tattoo artist to the stars. Huh. You don't exactly look like you do on TV, do you? There's something different about you. Cariño, don't insult our guest. He's obviously not for days, but this is P power. Who else would it be? Well, what about those cheekbones? The guy on TV didn't have cheekbones like that. Hey, Rico, you know they take all their food production. Just let the man work. Okay, fine. Whatever you say. Okay, I'm ready. Let's get this thing fixed. You doing this just to annoy me, Cat? I'm just grabbing a few shots for the social. Relax, Rico. It's very distracting, Kitty Cat. Please stop now. I really can't see what the problem is. So what are we waiting for, huh? I'm here, I'm ready. Get on with it. You are really getting on my nerves now. It's not every day we have celebrities visiting, you know? Whoa, hey, Rico, don't worry. I've got this under control. Hey, the two guy. I'm watching you. One wrong move, you know, as RPEN. You hear me? Hey, listen, you're taking this new bodyguard job a little too seriously, Jose. Just making sure the script doesn't try anything funny. Put the gun away, I'm fine. Afraid I can't do that, Patron. This person might get the jump on us. You need to keep still, Mr. Delgado. I wouldn't want to stab you by accident. You heard the man, Catalina. Leave us now. Fine. Have it your way. But that tattoo better look exactly like me when you're done with your new BFF, Rico. Hey, relax, Jose. We're fine. He's a strange Rico. I don't like his face. You're making me nervous, Jose. 
Put that thing away. No, 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 no. I'm not willing to take any risks here, Jefe. And I'm not paying you to just hang around, amigo. Get that needle to work, or you'll be sorry. Hey, Jose, I need you to leave us alone now. You're too wound up right now. You understand? All right, boss, all right. But I'll be back in a little while if I don't hear from you the you want. Oh, finally. So be so quiet. Can I finish my work now? <laughs> do what you do best, man. You got it. Rico Delgado has been eliminated. Nicely done. Time flies when you're having fun. Shit yet. I'll let you know. We're lucky in this place now. It's time to go. Oh, yeah, this is not a waiting room, okay? You can't stay here. Yeah. 